In this course, we are going to review the best practices for designing web forms. Then we will build a form with many different kinds of HTML5 input types while implementing those best practices. Websites serve two basic purposes. They allow the site owner to communicate with the end user and the end user to communicate back to the site owner. Communication from the site owner to the end user is typically in the form of text, images, audio, and sometimes video. Communication from the end user back to the site owner typically employs a web form. Consider Amazon. They have items for sale with text descriptions, text product reviews, photos of the items, and even graphics that indicate how many stars a product has received. This is all information from the site owner to the consumer. When you want something, you use a form and you add it to your cart, and then another form to purchase the items. Gathering information from your site users is really important. You should take great care when designing and building web forms. There is a delicate balance between pain and reward that you need to master in order to get someone to complete a web form on your site. Let me explain. First, the site owner offers a reward. Items for sale, access to information, participating in an event, etc. In order to get the reward being offered, a web form must be completed. If the pain of completing the form is less than the reward being offered, then your customer will complete the form and you win. However, if the form is too long or hard to use, you will lose a customer even if you're offering really cool stuff. Next, we'll look at some of the best practices you should consider when building web forms.